Hi guys, this is Varun from Phone Arena and this is the Google Home. So the Google Home is a voice activated speaker by Google as it says on the box. So it's very similar to the Amazon Alexa speaker which also launched a few months back. And this is Google's answer to the Amazon Alexa and it's pretty well uh, tied to Google services. We did show you a sneak peek of this from the launch event in San Francisco but finally we have the retail unit with us. Uh, it's available only in the US sadly as of now and we managed to import one but it will definitely work uh, anywhere in the world. Uh, I'm hoping there is a 240 volt adapter in the box. So as you can see, this is the uh, support for services on the outside. So as you can see, it supports YouTube Music, Pandora, Google Play Music, TuneIn, Philips U, Nest, Google Chromecast and everything. So it's basically the Google Assistant made into a home device. You might have seen Google Assistant in Allo, the app, also the Google Assistant in the Pixel device. So this is basically taking that assistant out and putting it in right in the center of your home. So these are some questions you can ask it. We'll show you that in the demo. So let's uh, actually open up the box which are without much further ado. So let's open it up. So here we go. So this is the box which comes in. Uh, so you have a plain white box uh, inside. So it opens up in a really neat way. So the moment you open it up, you have the Google Home or speaker sitting inside. So let's get it out. So this is the base which can be changed I guess so this is the speaker so you can change these colors if you want those are going to be sold later so these are the speakers and it has a micro USB port as well and let's actually put this on the desk and take a look at the box contents it's fairly heavy it's priced at about 129 US dollars currently and this is just a piece of paper so it says how hi how can i help so this is basically a user guide i've been very excited to actually check this out i actually saw it at the event in uh, earlier uh, in october and really liked the way it responded it did understand multiple accents and all that so these are some things you can do with it so let's actually put this aside and take a look at what else is here so you have so as i said these are the bases which you can change the base of the google home that can be changed to suit your uh, home colors so it says product uh, limited warranty and here's the uh, cable and uh, so it's a AC wall brick so thankfully it does support uh, 100 to 240 volts so let's power it on actually you need to tie a Google account to this so I'm going to be setting my uh, Gmail account or uh, Google account to this uh, Google home device and give a give it a few questions and see how it responds so in order to get started, uh, you need the Google Home app, which is available both on Android and iOS. So I have the iPhone 7 here, and I'm going to be uh, opening up the Google Home app. So I'm going to be turning on Bluetooth. So it starts looking for devices, very similar to how the Nest camera or the uh, drop cam works. So you need, uh, so it said it's found a Google Home, and it's going to be connecting. As you can see, the LEDs change on this device. So it is successfully connected. Yes, so it played a test sound. Let's set region as India. So this becomes a cast device. So let's call it the uh, office. And let's select a Wi-Fi network. So it's connecting to our Hornup device. So I'm actually waiting for the Google Wi-Fi routers as well, considering the Hornup has a limited range, but it's still one of the best routers I've ever had. So it's connecting to the Hornup router. And uh, once probably it's connected, it'll ask me for the Google account information. Actually, see, doing this for the first time, so I'm kind of interested to see how it works. And I've been reading a lot about how it's limited to a single account. So Google Home is now connected. It's online now. It's connected to Wi-Fi. So it says sign in. So let's actually pick my Gmail account considering it's a US account. Okay, these are the accounts you can actually tie it to. So it's, I've already got an email, so let's actually try. So it's actually updating the Google Home now. So you're getting, software is getting updated, I guess. So the update has been completed finally. But let's actually see how the Google Home works. Okay, Google, what's the time in uh, San Francisco right now? The time in San Francisco, CA, USA is 4.50 a.m. Okay. So this is the volume controls. So this is how you kind of reduce or increase the volume. You just circle around the top. Okay, Google. Who is the president of the United States? The president of the United States of America is Barack Obama. Okay, Google. So who is Donald Trump then? 
According to Wikipedia, Donald John Trump is an American businessman, reality television personality, politician, and president-elect of the United States. Okay, Google. So who is his wife? He's been married to Melania Trump since 2005. Okay, Google. What's the uh, capital of Canada? Ottawa is the capital of Canada. Okay, Google. How do you say, how are you in Spanish? Como estas? So that's a typical Spanish way of saying, how are you? Okay, Google. How do you say, thank you in Japanese? Arigato gozaimashita. So that's Japanese for you. So it says, arigato gozaimashita. So <laughs> I think this is pretty fun, the Google Home. So you can also ask some uh, fun stuff. Okay, Google. How many calories does a banana have? There are 89 calories in 100 grams of banana. Okay, Google. What is the phone number of... Uh, okay, let's try something else. The customer service number for Banana Republic is plus one six one four seven four four three nine zero nine. <laughs> so it's the mean customer service number for Banana Republic. I don't know why. Okay, Google. Play Sia. Sure, check out the Sia radio mix on Google Play Music. Under the moonlight, whether you are warm and bright. So as you can see, the music is really loud. So this thing is so tiny, but it sounds like a dynamite. Uh, so yeah, we've kept it in like almost 100%. So let's actually lower it. So let's try something else. So you can just tap on it to play and pause, which is also very handy. So let's say, uh, let's play something else. So let's see what else is there in this chart. So, okay. Okay, Google, play some uh, dance music on YouTube. I looked for dance on YouTube, but it either isn't available or can't be played right now. Okay, I think there's something to do with the uh, restriction uh, with my Google account or maybe the geographical restriction. Okay, let's say do a timer then. Okay, Google, set a timer for 15 seconds. Okay, 15 seconds, starting now. So set a timer for 15 seconds, I think it'll start playing something in 15 seconds. Let's see. It's going to be very useful for setting morning alarm clocks. <laughs> Pretty loud. Okay, Google. How far is the Chennai International Airport from here? You're 13.1 kilometers away from Chennai International Airport by car. Wow, so that's uh, amazing. It actually works for directions even in uh, India. So let's say. I don't know why this is popping up. <laughs> um, okay, Google. Stop the music. Okay, so let's see something else. Mm. Okay, Google. Tell me a fun fact. According to Wikipedia, the Great Barrier Reef is the world's biggest single structure made by living organisms. It is so big, it can be seen from outer space. Is that really a fun fact? I don't really know. Okay, Google. What sound does a cow make? A cow sounds like this. Okay, Google. What sound does a cat make? A cat sounds like this. Okay, Google, I'm bored. How about this fact? I found out on Wikipedia that apple seeds contain a small amount of cyanide. <laughs> apple seeds contain some cyanide. So that's actually something which is fun. Okay, so let's try something else. 
Okay, Google. Where is the nearest hospital? I found a few places within 950 meters. The first one is Vasant Eye Care Hospital on number 383 Anna Zalai near Sadapet Police Station, Sadapet in Chennai. The second one is RM Hospital on A1 Sarini Vasapuram Thuru Vanmir, Thuru Vanmir in Chennai. The third one is TT Ranganathan Clinical Research Foundation on 17 IV Main Road, Indira Nagar in Chennai. Okay, so this is interesting, actually finding real genuine hospitals around me. Uh, let's see. Okay, okay, Google. What's the closest ATM? I found a few places within 800 meters. The first one is Vijaya Bank ATM on 3rd Avenue, Indira Nagar in Chennai. The second one is State Bank of India ATM on Dr. Mutu Lakshmi Road, Radhakrishnan Nagar in Chennai. The third one is a CC ATM on Kalakshetra Road, Kamaraj Nagar in Chennai. So the accent is weird considering <laughs> it's the American accents talking Indian names, but then it's totally accurate. So this is basically something like uh, the Dream Siri uh, as assistant, uh, which uh, like Apple kind of launched, but then most of the Siri features don't work in India. But thankfully, the Google Assistant works, which uh, like full blown. Uh, as you can see, you can get real India data from just a voice command, which is amazing. So let's see. Okay, Google, where's the nearest pharmacy? I found a few places within 750 meters. The first one is Don Ventari Pharmacy on Kalakshetra Road in Chennai. The second one is Mutu Pharmacy in Chennai. The third one is Indian Medical Practitioners Cooperative Pharmacy and Stores Limited Sales Depot on 34 to 37 of Kalki Krishnamurti Salai through Van Mir in Chennai. When do they close? Okay, Google. What's your phone number? Don Ventari Pharmacy can be reached at 956620-5963. Okay, Google. Can you call them? You can contact Don Ventari Pharmacy at 956620-5963. Okay, so it's giving me the phone number, but uh, I think pretty much uh, I can't dial because it's in tied to my uh, like phone dialer or something of that sort. Okay, Google, what's the latest news from BBC? Here's the latest news from BBC Minute at 5.30 p.m. today. BBC Minutes with Olivia and Isaac. Russia has launched airstrikes in Syria for the first time from the aircraft carrier that's wow. deployed off the Syrian coast. The Russian defense minister called it a major operation. Cruise missiles were also fired. Egypt's highest court has overturned the death sentence of the former president. Okay, so you get, you get a live TV, like radio feel uh, from the feed. Okay, let's see. Okay, Google, wake me up at 7 a.m. tomorrow. Got it. Your alarm set for tomorrow at 7 a.m. Okay, Google. Tell me how's my day looking like tomorrow. Sorry, I couldn't find anything relevant in your calendar. Okay, Google. How do you say I want to go to a vegetarian restaurant in uh, Japanese? Wow, so this is amazing. <laughs> Actually, some of the words I could understand, but uh, most of it is Japanese. Okay, Google, how do you say goodbye in Japanese? Sayonara. So it's sayonara. So some of the words I know, <laughs> so it's very easy to relate to it. Okay, Google, how many teaspoons are there in a cup? One US customary cup equals 48 US teaspoons. Okay, these are some interesting stuff. I'm most interested about the uh, translate bit because it's so much fun. Okay, Google, how do you say uh, I want to have Mexican food tonight in Spanish? Quiero tener esta noche la comida mexicana. So it's Mexicana, so it's Mexico, so <laughs> it's very well done. It's basically the Google Translate app or even the website which gives you the real accent. So that data is here now. So it's pretty much fun. So let's say, we can also do some max here. So let's see. Okay, Google. How much is 25 times 83? The answer is 2075. Okay, Google. How many zeros are there in a billion? 
nine zeros. According to mathematics about dot com, billion one billion nine zeros. To read more, look for the link in your Google Home app. Okay, Google. What's the price of an iPhone seven? According to the Indian Express, according to Apple's website, iPhone 732 gigabytes will retail at 60,000 rupees, the 128 gigabytes version at 70,000 rupees, and the 256 gigabytes version at 80,000 rupees. Okay, that's interesting. You can see this is the base of the device. There's something written here. This is the FCC ID made in China, designed by Google. The Google address 1600 Amphitheater Parkway, Mountain View and all that so this is the cable running out as you can see on the back you also have a microphone mute button so in case you're paranoid microphone about off. google uh, listening uh, to you at home so for those uh, microphone on so microphone is on right now okay google what's the time in uh, singapore right now the time in singapore is 906 pm so yeah, so it's basically hands-free operation. So that's pretty much it. You can change the base as I showed you in these colors. And this is the, the microphones and the dial for the volume and all that which comes up here. So that's pretty much it guys. So you do get how it works, a basic gist of it. We're gonna be playing with it a lot more over the next few days and come up with some more uh, <laughs> uh, commands and how it works, real world. But hope you guys enjoyed it. Do the thumbs up button if you like this video. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And see you guys in the next video.